welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Today, we're going to be working on getting our GUI lasers to, one, not go so slow, two, not lag the game as much, and three, not fire at an incredibly fast, uncontrollable rate. This won't all be easy, but they all kind of go together, so that's why I'm packing three things into one video, or at least going to try to. But, I will warn you, I haven't script, I don't script my videos or anything like that, it's all unscripted, but I can already tell you. We're not even a minute in, but this video is going to be a long one. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Up in Explorer, let's go to Starter GUI, 2D Game, Window, Player Script. So, if we scroll down here, okay, we've got a while true do loop that's waiting the minimum amount of time possible from the game, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, easy. And then it's just always firing if the player's pressing spacebar. Again, pretty easy, right? I would say so, yeah. But um, the problem is, is it's always checking. There's nothing stopping it from firing maybe 12 times in a fraction of a second. We've got to do a couple things here. We've got one, make our game engine a little slower. Right now, it's updating at uh, whatever the minimum is, which I think, as I've said before, I think it's point zero zero three for a second. So, what would that be? Like, almost a third of a second. No. No. A third of a percent of a second. A third of a one percent of a second. So, one third percent of a second. If you calculate that, that's 300 times a second. Roughly. Probably a little more. That's a lot! A really big lot! Okay. We need to slow that down. We need to get to about 60 updates a second. Maybe we'll go a little bit above there. Maybe a little bit below. But we want it to be around 60 updates a second. Because that's optimal for games. At least 2D games. Uh, so what would one second be if we divide it by 60? Well... I can't answer that. I'm not... While I'm good at math, I'm not great at dividing and getting decimal values. So, what does any good computer user do? Pulls up the calculator. And, of course, I'm a good computer user, at least I think so. So, I pulled up the calculator. So, we're going to take 1 and divide it by 60 and actually clear 1 divided by 60 you guys should see everything I'm doing I shouldn't just go on my keyboard if I don't have to uh, it's better if you guys see it okay maybe I could have done it in my head because that's about what I was thinking 1 and 2 thirds percent so we'll close the calculator now we'll go up to the weight and we'll change it to 0 0.017 That'll get us a little slower than 60 updates a second, but that's that's actually probably a good thing for slower hardware that's already still having to update the Roblox game. So we'll go with point zero one seven. That's going to be our update rate. And we'll actually take this and make it so that we can have it global. And if we ever want to change the speed of our game, we can change it really easily in one place, not in every script that has to use it. So we'll go to place one, go to workspace, and we're going to insert a basic object. It's it's not much of an object, it's just a placeholder. All we gotta do is go over and insert a number value. Not a des not an int value. Int values can't have decimal places. We're going to insert a number value. There we go. And now we'll go to this number value and we'll call it update rate. Okay? And we're going to change the value of this to 0 0.017. That's going to be our global update rate. Back into the player script. We'll scroll down. 
and now we will change the weight to game that workspace that update rate that value and now make sure we wait about eh, a little bit over uh, a 60th of a second so that's the point to that darn hairs getting in my way I couldn't see much okay so now that that's done, we know we're getting 60 updates a second. Now the firing is going to be much better. Now we could control the... And let's actually get rid of... I'm a fire in my laser. Um, now we could control this better. We could make a variable in the script that made it to where it would update several times and then fire again and update. And, like a reloading thing. And we might do that later on, but we don't have time for it today. The week's ending, and I don't want to end it in, like fill you guys with so many things and you'll just get overwhelmed no there, I have five videos a week for a reason that way I can explain concepts much much better and that's what I'm going to do so what this is doing is it's slowing down the update rate it's making our game easier to use easier to process easier to program because now everything's more globalized and it's not going to lag on slower computers at least not too too much maybe a little bit but we're hoping not so now we'll go back to place one and go to the script here or er, nope wrong script my bad I uh, go to lighting laser script okay we're gonna change this weight and we're gonna change it to be game dot workspace that can you guys guess the rest that's right update rate that value and instead of 500 times to move half the screen wow that's a lot now why would we ever do that that's a Oh, way too much time. Five seconds for a laser to move halfway across the screen. Okay, we're not zooming out and seeing the entire globe here. It's supposed to move seemingly at what we would conceive as the speed of light. Obviously not that fast, but it's got to move fast. Five seconds to move half the screen, unless you have the world's most gigantic screen ever. If it's the size of the moon, that's not going to work. And they look really choppy anyway, so why would you do that? No, what we're going to do is we're going to take it down to 50. Half a second. Well, actually, now that it's updating at 60 frames a second, it'll be close to a full second. So we can actually go down to 30. Okay, 30. So in 30 frames, we need to go half the screen. We're going to have to pull up the calculator again, so I will be right back. I'm starting to think I should just leave the calculator up and just, like, slide it over to my second screen, which is probably what I will do. Uh, but we're going to divide 0.5 by 30, and I'm doing it on my keyboard again. I don't want to do that. 0.5 divided by 30 equals... Ah! Wow. Basically the same value. It, actually, I really should have figured that out. We're dividing half of one by half of what we divided one by earlier. We should get the same result. Um, anyway, so script that parent uh, that movie. Okay, we've got that, but we're going to change this to one seven, and that's going to make it much, much, much more accurate, and it's going to move at a very good pace. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We might have to tweak the numbers around a little bit, but it should work okay. Um, now, we actually are getting this done at a much faster pace. Much faster pace than I had expected. So we might add in a relo reloading function today, so I don't leave you guys on too much of a cliffhanger. I don't know. We'll see if we get any errors or anything like that, or... Yeah, I we might uh, probably not, but maybe, maybe. All right, we're jumping around just fine still, but fire! Look at that! Did you see those lasers? Fire! 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 They're moving much faster now. They're not as fast as maybe we think a laser would go, but you can, as I said, tweak the numbers around, make it as fast as you want. This is actually optimal speed in my opinion. Because I like the fact that it takes half a second. It, 
just makes you be able to feel it. Now, watch, I'm holding spacebar, so we're firing 60 times approximately, 60 times a second. Now, it makes for a very cool sine and cosine waves. That's, yeah, pretty cool sinuoids, I believe is the word. Almost a sinuoid. Basically just a wave. Because uh, we don't really have an origin, per se. But it's pretty cool. It makes for a cool animation. But that's not what these are here for. No! These are here to shoot people and things. So they should have a reload time so we can only fire, say, once every half second. That that would seem more, maybe not logical, but it will look better. So that's, yeah, we're, I, I'm not doing it today. I'm sorry, guys. But, um... I gotta have some reason for you to watch next week. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I'm not doing it today, though. Uh, but I think we've gotten a lot of progress done. So that's awesome. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the, the subscribe button wherever the heck it is in the YouTube layout. But you can also see it at the outro of this video. It's a big subscribe button. You can't miss it. Along with three videos. The three pat most recent videos, aside from this one, and a link to my channel, which if you click my face right now, that's also a link to my channel. So click any of those, and they will do awesome stuff. Alright, as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I will catch you guys later.